In this video, we're going to go through some ways of how we can add charts to our table to create inline charts with our text table. Here we have a table that shows us some of the matrix broken down by region and we could get more interesting information by looking at trends. One thing that we may be interested to look at is a line chart and in this case, uh, we might want to call it a spark line chart. Basically, it's kind of an inline chart as part of the text table. So let's say, for example, over here, to get something more interesting out of this, we want to look at the trend of sales. How does sales perform over time? So we can build our line chart based on that. So basically, the hack around this is just to combine two different worksheets together. So it's actually nothing really fancy. But what I want to share today is how can we format this line chart to look better. So now let's say we want to know our sales over a period of time. So what do we need? We need our sales. We need our order date. Okay. So this gives us a trend across the year and our matrix over here. So we can maybe change this to month. And let's maybe just show one year of information for now. And the next information is we want to know this sales trend by region to align with our table over here. So what we're going to do is just drag region over here and we have the chart for each region. So our focus here is to be able to look at the trends distinctly. And you can see that all these lines are quite flat because of the axis over here. The next thing we want to do is to adjust this axis. So what we can do is we go to add the axis and we select independent axis and we're going to remove zero. So what this does is that it allows us to look at this trend more distinctly. And some other things we can do is to remove our header axis over here and also format the chart over here to remove these lines. We can also make these points of each period more distinct by adding a marker. And here you will notice that this marker actually is pretty small. And if I want to increase the size, it will increase the size of the line as well. So how can we achieve a way to format this better is to make use of a dual axis. So I'm going to duplicate this over here and I'm going to select a dual axis. And the next step is to sync the axis. And over here, I can change the second measure over here to a circle. So now we can control this marker size as we wish. Okay, and then I'm going to hide my header for this axis. And there we have our spark line chart formatted. And then now the next step is to combine these two worksheets together on our dashboard view. So we're going to take our table over here and the spark line over here. So how do we ensure that these are aligned nicely? I like to use um, the feed to entire view. And we're going to hide our title. But you will see that this still doesn't align nicely. So what we need to understand is to understand the components of these charts over here. So some parts of it are actually fixed height. Like you can look at this axis area. It will be fixed based on what we have selected and all these are automatically resized. So what we can do is to take a container, drag this here, and we know that this bottom area is going to be fixed. So we can do use a blank container and then we're going to place all of them into another container. Okay, and let's put it back here. Okay, so I know that this area will be fixed. So what I can do is I'm going to drag this all the way here to align this manually. Okay, this looks about fine. And we can also hide this header to make it look better. So now what happens is that 
you will see that these are not aligned again. So what I'm going to do is using the same method, I'm going to put them into a container, add a blank on top, and I can align my blank chart above here. Let's do 20 maybe. I think this looks fine. And let's also remove the padding to try to remove the space between these two views. And there we have our spark line chart with our table over here. The next method I want to share is how we can create chart in this same table over here on the same worksheet without having to combine two different worksheets. So the idea we're going to make use of is using placeholder to create individual marks card. So let's remove all this. And I'm going to create a placeholder here. And duplicate this as well. So now you see there is two marks cards over here. And to replicate this, what we want is to add back the measures. So let's just do sales and let's do profit. Okay. And we will want to format this. Let's align this. And we can format this table as well to remove the zero line. The grid line. So now we have a table like this. And we will want to add back some lines on the row. There we replicated our text table using this method over here. But this still doesn't look right. We have all these um, headers over here and we need our measure names on top. So what we can do is to make use of dual axis. So I'm going to create a dual axis for each set. And I am going to format this, change it to polygon. And then I will format my axis. So I am going to remove the title for this one. Remove this one. So we don't have the zero and the title over here. Do the same for this. And now for this, I want to rename it as sales. And this as profit. So now we can add in our chart. And in this case, we might be interested to create a bar chart to look at the size of this profit. So we can drag our measure over here. And this should create another marks card over here. And we can change this to bar chart. This is probably not the best way. It's a bit hacky, and we have all this extra lines and formatting that's not great but this is one other workaround that we can do to create charts with um, table.